Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy and today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2024. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to enable the show post expression graph. This is particularly useful for visualizing and troubleshooting expressions as it displays the actual values, including the motion path that is generated by an expression. To demonstrate, first I created this simple animation of this logo just using these three keyframes. I then added the loop out offset expression. So if I tap EE, you can see there's the loop out offset expression. And what that does is just repeats this part of the animation. And with the offset, that is going to offset the position. So if I zoom out here and drag the CTI, you can see when it gets past the last keyframe, it repeats, but it's offsetting the position. And it's just gonna follow this sort of stair step animation for the duration of the composition but we only see the motion path for the keyframes that we added. So oftentimes when we add expressions, we really can't see what the expression is doing. And you'll see if I select the keyframes and go into the graph editor, we can see this is the Y position in green, this is the X position in red, but once it gets to the last keyframe, the lines just sort of flatline even though the animation is continuing. So a great little trick if you want to display the values generated by an expression, all you need to do is just click on this little icon next to the equal sign. You'll see the tooltip says show post expression graph. So once I click this to enable it, now we can see the entire motion path. And if you look down in the graph editor, you can now see the X and Y values that are changing over time. So if I toggle it off, You'll see now we're just seeing up until the last keyframe, same with the motion path. But if I click to toggle it on, now we can see exactly what is happening from the expression. Pretty cool. To open and close this graph editor, just click on the icon above the layers panel or use the keyboard shortcut Shift F3 to open up the graph editor. And if your graph editor does not look like mine, click on the second icon and make sure that edit value graph is checked and also make sure that show expression editor is checked. That way when you select the property, you can now edit the expression right from the graph editor. Enabling the show post expression graph is a great troubleshooting tool if you're trying to diagnose an expression. It's also a great learning tool as you can make changes to an expression and see the changes in real time. So for example, Let's change this loop out from offset. Let's change it to ping pong and see what happens. So I'll change it to ping pong, click aside. And now you'll see the motion path is just to those three keyframes because ping pong is just gonna loop it back and forth. And you can see the changes adjusted down here in the graph editor. Let's look at one more example using everybody's favorite expression, wiggle. So I'll add the wiggle on the position property by pressing option or alt, clicking on the stopwatch. I'll type out wiggle, all lowercase, open and close parentheses, one comma one, keep it super small. I'll click on this icon to open up the graph editor or use shift F3. Then I'm gonna click on show post expression graph. Let's change the values from one one to 10, 10 and see what happens. Click aside, we've got wiggle. If I select the position property and zoom in, we've also got kind of a crazy motion path going. And if you look down in the graph editor, we can see the wiggle happening on the X and Y property. Let's increase from 10 to 100, see what happens. Click aside, select the property, look at the graph editor, we've got craziness. And if you look at the motion path, it's going crazy. Tap the space bar. Yes, we have massive wiggle going on. Change them both to a thousand. We've got chaos down in the graph editor. We've definitely got chaos in our motion path. So the next time you add an expression, if you want to visually see what the expression is doing, just toggle on the show post expression graph. And I recommend just making changes down in the expression editor. And now instead of guessing what the wiggle is gonna do, you can see exactly what these numbers are doing or how they're affecting the animation. That is the show post expression graph in Adobe After Effects CC 2024. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.